YouTube fam, how y'all doing? TM Nation, how y'all doing? What you're looking at is a pair of the brand new Soundcore Liberty 4 True Wireless Earbuds. I've had my pair for just about a month now. I've put them through all of my normal testing and I can tell you that these things check pretty much every box that I look for in a pair of true wireless earbuds. I will go over more of the features and I have a few tests a little bit later on in this video just so you guys have a pretty good idea of what these have to offer. But for the highlights, they are packing Bluetooth 5.3. You get compatibility with the Soundcore app. You can get up to nine hours of use on a charge with these. They're packing Hear ID Sound and Hear ID ANC as well. And this gives you some really good sound quality. But these are not only packing that set of features, they also have a built-in heart rate monitor that you can access through the app. As for what you'll get inside of the box, they'll come with your user manual and other documentation, multiple sets of cloud comfort ear tips, which are really comfortable by the way. You will get a USB type C cable for charging. And of course you'll get your earbuds along with the case. Taking a look at the design of the case first, it really does remind me of what you'll get with a pair of the Liberty Air 2 Pros, and I really do like it. I don't have any issues with it. It's small enough to fit in a pocket, and it also does feel sturdy in the hands. There isn't too much going on on the outside of it. All that you really have is your Soundcore branding on the top, an LED battery indicator status bar in the front, and you have your USB Type-C charging port in the back. Also, like a lot of the higher end Liberty earbuds, these have the convertible top case, but as you can see when you open it up, the LED lights on the tips of the earbuds will illuminate, which is a nice touch in my opinion. I'm also extremely happy to note that you do get wireless charging with the case, so if that's a must have feature for you, they got you covered. As I mentioned earlier, the battery life with these is also pretty good. You can get up to nine hours of use with ANC off, but if you use ANC on, you'll get closer to seven. The case will also add a few charges. With ANC off, you can expect to get up to 28 hours total. If you're using them with ANC, you'll be closer to 24, but if battery life is your main concern, it is worth noting that these do feature quick charging, which will give you about three hours worth of use from only 15 minutes worth of charging. And for those of you wondering how long it takes for you to charge the earbuds from completely dead, that will take you about an hour and a half. Now moving on and taking a better look at the design of the earbuds, as you can see they do have the stems coming down which is not my go to style, but I can tolerate it with these in particular as they aren't too long or too short to put them in or take them out of my ears easily, I think that they're pretty much the perfect length. They're also really comfortable for me to wear for longer listening sessions. I've been able to wear them for five to six hours without any issues whatsoever. I've also been able to use them for exercise. Even though I'm not sure if they're water resistant, they have stayed in place for me relatively well for a pair of earbuds that don't have any wings or hooks. And even once the sweat started flowing, I really didn't have to reposition them as much as I normally have to do with stemmed earbuds. So I think again, they're okay in terms of the fit. But again, like I said earlier, I'm not sure if these have a water resistance rating as I haven't been able to find any information on this and it may be because of the heart rate monitors inside of the earbuds themselves. So like I said, they haven't malfunctioned on me so far, but at this point, if you get them wet, it's at your own risk. Another thing that I do wanna mention about the design of these earbuds is the fact that these don't use your traditional touch controls. These have little indentations on each earbud that you'll squeeze similar to the AirPods Pros. Now they have been pretty accurate for me so far and I haven't had many issues with them failing to pick up my feedback, but personally, I've never really been a fan of this style of control. I would much rather either a physical button or the normal touch controls. But one good thing that you do have with these earbuds in terms of the controls is the ability to customize them through the app. For the Bluetooth version, as I mentioned earlier, these are using 5.3 
and I've had no issues maintaining a stable connection with either my iPhone 14 Pro or my Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Now I will say that these aren't the best for mobile gaming as they do not have a built-in low latency mode, but watching YouTube videos and Amazon Prime movies on both of those devices has been completely fine. These are compatible with LDAC, for those of you all that have a device that can take advantage of this higher definition codec. But not only that, they do support multi-point connectivity and you can use these independently. So if you wanna leave one earbud in the case while you use the other, they got you covered. Moving on and touching on the active noise cancellation and transparency performance. First off, I'll say that I really like the amount of control that you have over both of these modes. With the Hear ID ANC, you can pretty much set it and forget it and let the earbuds adjust based on the loudness of your environment. But like I said, there is also a manual ANC mode that you can use if you want to, to set the earbuds to weak, moderate, or strong active noise cancellation. Now I pretty much always leave these in the adaptive mode because I think these do a good job of reducing the ANC when I don't need it as much and making it a little bit stronger in louder environments. And based on my testing, I would say that these perform good in the ANC department. I wouldn't put them up there with the top tier ANC earbuds. I would put them just about a notch below what you'll get with like the Sony WF-1000XM4 earbuds buds or the AirPods Pros, but like I said, there isn't a world of difference. I think that these will be more than adequate for most people who just want a solid pair of ANC earbuds for public transit, for use around the house, airplane rides, or pretty much anywhere where you just want to reduce some of the noise going on around you because these really do do a good job of reducing sounds such as buzzing, humming, and light to medium talking. These also do offer you some control over the transparency but it's not as robust as what you'll get with the ANC. Here you have two different options which are vocal and fully transparent. In the vocal mode they do a decent job of focusing on speech and the fully transparent mode is going to focus on amplifying everything that is going on around you which I think works well but it can sound a little bit unnatural and digitized at times. But outside of controlling your ANC and transparency settings the app allows you to see the charge left on both your earbuds and the case itself. You can access built-in EQs, create your own, or utilize the Hear ID functionality, which will take you through a series of different hearing tests and create a custom EQ based on your hearing. You can also toggle on or off in-ear detection, enable or disable multi-point connectivity, and see what devices you've connected to. You can adjust the volume of the prompts that the earbuds give you, set how long the earbuds will stay on before they power off, and quite a bit more. But I do want to focus on the wellness portion of the app for just a moment because it can be quite easy to ignore this functionality altogether, but there are quite a few features inside of it that I think a lot of people will see value in. One of these features is gonna be the activity tracker, which will allow you to track your exercises and it will show you information such as your heart rate and the kilo calories that you burn. You do have the ability to set your target heart rate and the earbuds will let you know once you reach it. But not only that, if you don't have your own custom exercise in mind, there are a few that you can choose from directly through the app. For the sound quality guys, in my opinion, these sound really good for all different types of listening. I've used them for YouTube videos, music, movies, podcasts, and I can tell you that they have sounded good across all of those platforms. With movies, they provide an immersive experience with the built-in spatial audio algorithm, which also tracks your head movement to keep you right in the middle of what's going on. Now the Hear ID feature is also huge with these earbuds. I think that it does a great job of determining the frequencies that your ears pick up and cultivating a sound that you will enjoy. When I compared the EQ that the app created for me against the one that I created for myself it actually was really similar which is impressive you also have the ability to adjust the hear ID EQ as well if you want to dial it in just a little bit more but to describe the sound signature that these provide to my ears 
it is a warm sound overall. The highs are on the brighter side with the vocals being present but not too forward and the bass is there. If you're listening to something with some nice low ends, you will feel it, but I wouldn't say that these are overpowering or extremely bass heavy. If you're familiar with Soundcore's general sound signature, I don't think that you'll be disappointed with these whatsoever. They're just a little bit more refined overall. These do have three mics in each earbud for voice calls and they also use an environmental noise canceling algorithm which is aimed at focusing on your speech while reducing some of the noise that is going on around you. But as always I did take samples just so that you guys can judge for yourselves. Let's check them out. Alright guys so right now I have the earbuds paired to my iPhone 14 Pro as you can see, the audio that you're hearing is coming directly from the microphones on them. Now, I'm not going to do any type of editing to this sample, so this should give you a pretty good idea of how these will perform for voice calls. And now I have some simulated background noise playing in the background. This part of the test is aimed at seeing how well these will focus on my speech while rejecting some of that noise. So taking everything into consideration fam, I don't think that Soundcore left much on the table with these. I mean you're getting good call quality, good sound quality, respectable ANC and transparency performance, multi-point connectivity, LDAC compatibility, wireless charging with the case, all of the features inside of the app, and up to 9 hours on a charge. I mean that is a killer feature set for 149 bucks. So I'm not gonna make this video longer than I think it needs to be. I think that these are gonna sell well for Soundcore because I've done videos on several pairs of earbuds that cost significantly more than these do that don't offer the value that you get here. But with all of that being said guys, Soundcore usually runs promotions when they drop new earbuds. If I come across any coupon codes, I'll leave them in the description and make sure that you hit those links for the most up-to-date pricing. Before you get on out of here, if you rock with the channel and your boy Tecmo, hit that subscribe button and knock that notification bell out so you won't miss any of my uploads. Welcome to TM Nation. Peace.